Hey, what's up everyone? Matt Wolf here uh, with Get Thrive Cart. Now, what I want to show you real quick is a cool little trick that I sort of figured out one day by accident. Um, one of the things that you can see in development here, I'm on the Thrive Cart feature request section. One of the things um, is the ability to make the coupon field hidden, but still be able to pass a coupon through URL parameters. So that's one of the things that's in development. Um, typically, when you go to a Thrive Cart page with a coupon, uh, it shows it still shows the little coupon box. So you can see on the checkout page here for the evergreen content method, it says enter coupon code below. Now, typically if I give a URL out with a coupon code, it looks something like this, question mark, coupon equals example. I made a little uh, test coupon that took a dollar off the price here. And you can see uh, that URL threw in that price, but you could still see the coupon code below. So this box shows up with the coupon code and you can see your discount and all that good stuff right here. Now I did kind of find a way around this. You could see if I go to this page here, I threw a coupon code into the URL and you could see it's discounted by $10, making it 29 down to 19, but the coupon box is gone. It's nowhere in sight. So I did figure out a little workaround to hide the coupon box. Now it's real simple. Let me jump over to Thrivecart real quick. This is on the Content Business Machine notes here. I'm gonna go ahead and click Edit. And I'm gonna come all the way over here to Customers and I'm gonna click on Tracking. And under Tracking, you can actually add a little bit of additional code. In this case, I used some style code to hide the actual coupon. All right, so uh, you can actually pause or however you want to do it to look at this code that I put here, but I put bracket style, close bracket, form dot coupon, uh, this little bracket, sorry, I don't know all the technical terms for these, but this little bracket here, display colon none, semicolon, this bracket, and then a closing style tag. And just that little thing right there hides it. So if I, uh, let me just go ahead and cut this so you don't see it anymore. If I click save and get URL, Let's come back to this page, plug in my coupon here. You could see my coupon box showed up because I just deleted that little bit of code. If I come back over here, edit product settings, come all the way over to customers, click on tracking, paste tracking code to add only to your checkout page, paste this little code here that I just mentioned, and you are good to go. Now I'm gonna try to make some sort of little text file with this piece of code so you can just copy and paste it, but that's a real quick and simple way. Let me go ahead and save this again. Uh, add my little coupon thing to the top here. You can see, boom, you got rid of the little coupon box, but the coupon code was still applied. All right, so cool little, uh, I guess you can call it a little hack. Again, uh, if you come over to the Thrive Cart feature request box here, this is one of the things they're currently working on, but if you need it faster than that, well, there's your little workaround.